Okay, um, let's see. So we are starting then, we're gonna mix our second um, tertiary here. Our next tertiary that we're working on is going to be red orange. Um, so now we're going between orange, right, that we just made and our red primary. So our, our orange secondary, right? And our our red primary and in between that, right, is that is the place where our tertiary of red orange exists. And again, it's that hue midpoint between orange and red. Um, we want to mix a, a hue that doesn't seem to lean more to red and doesn't seem to lean more towards orange. It's sort of really right in the middle. And this is pretty, this is pretty good, right? Um, I think for that, that midpoint. Um, we can see a fair amount of red when we look at it in comparison to the orange right across that border and across the border between the red orange and the red, we see that nice flash of, of orange there. Um, so that's a good, a good estimate. Um, this one I had made up previously, right? Um, so now what, what colors, what tube colors are we really going to go for? Well, let's see, right? So the closest thing that I'm going to look for is thinking, okay, my orange, right? <laughs> and my red, I want to look for something that's already kind of in that ballpark. And the thing that's closest, right, is this cadmium red light. Um, the, it's more red, right? If we look at this and we hold these up together, you can see it's definitely more red than my orange is that I mixed. Um, but it's also quite a bit more orange than my red. I don't think, right, that I think it's closer to the orange than it is to the red. So I think we're going to have to add some stuff to it. If we look here at this red orange, you can see, right, if we go here, this is definitely more orangey than this red orange. So we have to add red to it, okay? And the nice thing about this is that we know that our red that we mixed up is mostly made of what? Primary magenta. So these are gonna be our two ingredients for our red orange. Probably mostly gonna be cadmium red light and then a little bit of our primary magenta, okay? Let's try that anyway. That makes the most sense to me. Maybe what? Uh, what, maybe two parts this? So let's go with two blobs. Let's go small, right? Because uh, again, I'm working on, <laughs> you can see I'm really down to almost no <laughs> palette paper. So this is again, the wrong side of my palette paper. So you will be not working on a tiny little rectangle, um, which is good. And it won't be soaking into your paper. So, and then let's try one blob then of my of the primary magenta we may end up needing to throw a little bit more of that into the mix but we'll see okay so let's scrape ooh, scrape all this up you can see it's already soaking in and then we'll need to test on our test chips i feel like we may need some more primary magenta already but let's just see um, well, we can test on a test chip, but to me, that lo still looks a little too orange. Make sure that you have a nice opaque coverage, meaning don't press too hard. Make sure the paint just skims over the top. To me, that looks too close to orange still. Okay, so let's put that aside. Um, and let's throw a little bit more. So maybe it's almost equal amounts, right? Or, you know, maybe it's a one-to-one. -one. Maybe it's like, what, a little tiny bit less quinacridone magenta. Let's not use all of that right now. Let's put a little more in and see. It might We might find that it's not as strong as the cadmium red medium. I'm mean, sorry, cadmium red light. That's probably what we, yep, let's use the rest of it. So I think it's maybe one-to-one. -one. Um, cadmium red light to primary magenta, and that might be the winner. Okay, let's mix that up thoroughly. 
and then paint our swatch. And then again, once you have that, uh, the correct color, you know, settled upon, um, and you've got, you, you let it dry, you've compared it, uh, you've set it down to see how it's working, then you can mix up more of that, you know, mix up a bigger batch of it. Making sure you're testing along the way, right? So that's pretty good, I think. Um, we might, you know, we. Uh, I think we'll be okay with that. I, part of me thinks, do I need a little more primary magenta? But I think by the time, if we look here, let's look. By the time that dries, it should really, right? You can see it should really dry down, I think, so that it, it ends up being a little bit more like that. Um, let's just look. Let's try this out in between and see if it looks like a decent match. Uh, I mean, I think that's pretty good. Um, we could probably, it's possible we could go a tiny bit more, um, you know, primary magenta in there, but I think actually that's pretty good. And by the time, again, this is gonna dry down some. Probably need a little more opaque coverage here in some, in one area. Um, it's bothering me. So I might have to do the whole thing over. There we go. But that should, yeah, this should be a, a good one then. Okay. So what is that? That, um, let's write that down. I think that's a pretty easy one in that we're equal parts, right? One part. I'm just gonna go C R L cadmium red light plus one part primary P magenta. Okay, and that should do it right for a good red orange. All right, thanks.